Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching ratio. I'm going to split it into two into three parts. Um, I'm going to do simplifying ratio as well as sharing in a ratio and increase and decrease in a ratio. So starting with simplifying in a ratio, we're going to start with simplifying to its simplest form. So let's start with a simple one like 20 to 25. If I want to simplify this to its simplest form, I'm basically going to say what is the highest number that can divide into 20 and into 25. And it is 5. So I'm going to divide the right hand side by 5 and divide the left hand side by 5. So 20 divided by 5 will give me 4. 2. 25 divided by 5 will give me 5. So my answer here is 4 to 5. Another way you could do it is you could go 20 over 25 and you could say what is the highest number that can divide into 20 and into 25 and it is 5. So I'm going to divide by 5, divide by 5 and my answer is going to be 4 over 5 which is 4 to 5. Number 2, we're going to look at one where we've got maybe 1,25 hours to 15 minutes okay so here we have two different uh, units we have hours and we have minutes so we need to convert our hours to minutes and in order to convert hours to minutes we're going to multiply our hours by 60 to change it to minutes and 1,25 times 60 will give me 75 minutes to 15 minutes. Again, you're going to work out what is the highest number that can divide into, 70, into 75 as well as into 15. And in this case, 15 goes into 75 five times. So on this side, I'm going to divide by 15 and I'm going to divide this right side by 15 and 75 divided by 15 will give me 1, 2, 5. Now, sorry, the other way around it is 5, 2, it's going to be 5, 2, 1. So here you have 75 minutes over 15 minutes, okay? What I want to show you here is that the minutes and the minutes will cancel out. So your final answer should not have minutes next to it. It should just be 5 to 1. Because here you're dividing by 15 and you're dividing the bottom by 15. And you're going to end up with 5 over 1. Okay, number 3. Let's do 3,5 kgs to 3,000 grams. In this case you need to change your kgs to grams and in doing so we're going to multiply by 1000 on the left hand side. So here we're going to have 3500 grams to 3000 grams and here if we said 3500 grams over 3,000 grams, the grams and grams will cancel out and I'll divide by 10, divide by 10 and then the highest number that can divide into 35 and 30 would be 5. So if I divide the top by 5 and I divide the bottom by 5, I'm going to get 7 over 6. So my answer is going to be 7 to 6 as a ratio. Now the next question you could get in a test is simplify to, okay, so sim or write, let's write it this way, write in unit form, okay, write in unit form. So if you have, for example, uh, let's say we have, um, Say we have, for example, two 
to maybe five and you want to write it in unit form. So unit form means you're going to have one to n. I'm just using n as a letter there. So you're always going to have one. So unit form, remember, that part there must be um, one to something. So we're going to divide the left-hand side by two to get it to one, and therefore we're going to divide the side by two as well. So 2 divided by 2 will give me 1, and 5 divided by 2 would give me 2.5, okay, or 2,5. Let's do another example. 2, let's try, um, let's say we have 30 to 50, for that matter, okay, and we want it in unit form, so we're going to go... Um, here we're going to have divide by 30 and divide the right hand side by 30. Okay, so 30 divided by 30 will give me 1, 2, and let's say 50 divided by 30, and we're going to get 1, 6 recurring, so 1 point, 1, 6 recurring, which would if we rounded it to two decimal places, will be 1 to 1, 6, 7. Okay, I just want to neaten this. This would be, is equal to here. Okay, right, so let's go on and do um, sharing in a ratio. So let's look at C, share. Now there are two ways you could do this. So I'm going to say share. 900 rand now remember that rand is our south african currency you could have you could see it as 900 dollars or 900 pounds but anyway share 900 rand in a ratio of four to five okay so the one way is the one method you could use is Number one, you add your ratio, so 4 plus 5 would give you 9. And then you're going to say 900 rand divided by 9, and that would give me 100 rand. Then we would take our ratio of 4 and 5. So if we were sharing it between two people, uh, the one would be a ratio of 4 times 100 and the other one would be a ratio of 5 times 100, which would mean that the one person would get 400 rand, and the other person would get 500 rand. Okay, that's the one way. Or you could go um, 4 plus 5 again, which is 9. So you could go 4 over 9 times 900. Uh, and 5 out of 9 times 900 and that would give you 400 and 500 and also check when you get to your final answer if you said 400 plus 500 you will get 900 it should get you back to the original that you started off with okay let's look at another one D I want to talk about increase and decrease. So here, if you increase, uh, let's say we increase uh, 1,300 in a, in a ratio of, let's say, a 4 to 5. So we're increasing it. So when we're increasing it, there's two ways you could do it, but the best way to remember is when we talk about increase, you are going to take the ratio and write the bigger number above. So basically, it's just going to be 5 over 4 times 1,300, right? So we're going to go 5 divided by 4 times 1,300. And here we end up with, 
1625. Now if you took this and you punched this into a calculator and you said 1300 to 1625, this answer would get you back to 4 to 5, back to the original ratio. So you test your answer to see if your answer is correct. Okay, so that was increase. If we said decrease, and let's use a different value here, let's say decrease um, 48 in a ratio of, let's say, 5 to 4 for that matter. Okay, decrease 48 rand in a ratio of 5 to 4. Now, if it's decrease, you're going to go 4, the smaller number above, over 5 times 48. And if I'm saying decrease, I expect my answer to be smaller. And above where I said increase, you'll notice that your answer is bigger. So here we're going to go 4 divided by 5 times 48. And I end up with... 38 rand and 40 cents, comma 4, so 40 cents. So here the same thing. If I took my ratio and I went 48 to 38 rand uh, 40, I would end up with a ratio of 5 to for back to the original answer. I hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe and follow me on my next channel.